The Australian Energy Regulator confirmed that electricity prices will increase between 20 and 25 per cent from the 1st of July to 25 per cent in March. It was higher than the draft proposal put forward by the regulator. Lockpoints NSW, SA and Southeast Queensland will increase between 19.6 per cent and 23.9 per cent electricity prices will increase between 19.6 per cent and 23.9 per cent in NSW, SA and Southeast Queensland. Price increases will enter into force on July 1st AER. The increase last year is lower than the initially predicted AIRS decision will affect approximately 600,000 customers, with an effective price limit for home and small business customers in South Australia, New Southern Wales and Southeast Queensland. In March, the regulator issued a draft electricity price increases between 20 and 22 per cent. However, after listening to stakeholder feedback, the assumed market offer, draft offer, a small change between 1% to 3%, he said. Air, our changes are largely updates based on additional information and improvements to our methodology in order to better reflect the retail electrical costs, said. AER President Claire Savage said the price increases were quite close to the draft proposal and much lower than expected before. A default market offer is customer. The price increase will be between 19.6% and 24.9%. So decision phase was between 19.5 and 23.7. So draft decision is quite close to place where we were in decision, he said. Much lower than we fear that it could be in October last September. But still significant price increase and life pressure for customers are difficult to cost on time. Housing customers will see price increases between 20.8 and 23.9% for those who do not have controlled loads and price increases between 24.9 for controlled customers. Small business customers face 14.7% and 28.9%. Calculation for increased price increases speaking at RN Breakfast on Thursday morning, Savage announced that inflation is an important factor in the price increase. There is an increase in costs of improving or recovering the cost of our transmission and distribution systems. And there is also inflation applied to costs encountered by retailers, said. He continued so today, there is some inflation flowing in this last decision and we updated for the latest inflation data. Australian Energy Regulator President Claire Savage said that price increases are less than expected. However, the price increases would be significantly higher if the federal government had not intervened. When looking at price, what the prices could be in September, October, we predicted between about 35 and 50 percent, today would be number I had to explain. This is obviously a very terrible thing to do, he said. What we see is contracts purchased by retailers for next financial year, in October last year. Coal and gas markets have fell slightly fell. About 40% lower than last year in October. But ST, 